everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you my craft space. It's just a small wall in our living room. We've been living in Germany for almost two years and a lot of people have asked to see this. It's not much to show. Um, certainly not finished, but I do the best I can. So I'm going to show you what I have. Most of the furniture is from Ikea. So I have this Calyx unit here where I store a lot of stamps and cardstock. And I have these fridge bins that I bought. You know, Jennifer McGuire um, came up with that idea and it works beautifully. I have these dividers. These are from the stamp market and they make it look kind of pretty. So I've got various brands that I work with. Simon's a Stamp, Pink for Studio, My Favorite Things, Honeybee, different companies, Alta New, all of it in there. Um, up here I keep most new stuff that I gotta use like right away. I've got some yarn. Back here I have a little bowl of some new Wow embossing powder and pink flock that I can't wait to try. And uh, let's see what else we got. I've just been testing out the Spellbinders Glimmer foil machine. I'm kind of late. I'm always late to the party, but I'm really excited about foiling it up. Uh, I've got car stocks. These are my Copic refills. Um, all, whoopsie. All two new mini ink blenders. Love those. Um, got my Tim Holtz rainbow trees here that I love. The newest color. Kitsch Flamingo, can't get enough of it. Candle, which was a Christmas gift by Alex and Bailey. This is a wood block from Simon's Stamp. These I brought from home, they're from Hobby Lobby. They're just like little lava, lava lamp? Or lava, whatever. Cheap flowers from the dollar store. My baby, my camera. This painting, my daughter Alex painted it of our home in Illinois. Okay. For my work table, again from Ikea, this is one of those that you can, um, you can crank it up or you can crank it down. Because I like to stand. And another reason I like it high is I have these Rascog carts that I keep underneath and they fit. Here's my Copic markers. This little cardboard bin, just from Ikea. And that's how I keep all these. I have a bunch of inks. These are all my Pink for Studio inks. And I always keep a swatch chart of my inks so that I know... Like, I can't remember the color, so I always refer to that. And then down under here, I have more uh, Pink Fresh Studio inks, or Pink Fresh Studio stamps and dyes. And then these are, uh, oh, this is my um, Tim Holtz splat box. I use it all the time. Minnesota White, 110 pound. That's the way to go. I've got these all to new. These are the Cadillac of blender brushes. I mean, I'm telling you, I only have... Let's see, I've got six. I need about a hundred more. Okay. The next Rascog cart, I have a mint one and a white one. I love them so much. All to new inks, Concord nine inks. Ah, uh, my favorite thing, inks. And I have some Simon's to Stamp new stuff here and Stamps and Dice. Here's one thing that I use a lot, is this little caddy bin of, uh, these are those sentiment strips, and I use these all the time. I'm always rifling through, uh, through to find the right sentiment. And I use these uh, sentiment label dies to die cut up. One of my most used products, if I'm being honest. Okay, put that in there. Die cutting machine, all to new grid mat, Teflon bone folder, never leaves the mat. Got my glue, honeybee glue. This is my latest obsession, is the Barely Arts glue. I love it so much because it's got one of those precision tips with the needle that goes in. Never gets clogged. And then the refill is a bear. I have these ink stands by Brienne Loveland, which I love. This is like a full-size ink stand. And then we have like the full-size Distress. And I also have the mini that I use all the time. Okay, let me talk about, you know how I say dimension is life? Well, here's my dimension corner here. I have been dabbling with three different thicknesses of foam tape. So I've got the scotch, 
This one here is about double the thickness of the scotch. And this one here is thinner. It's like half the thickness of the scotch. So we've got the three different dimensions because dimension is life. And then masking tape. Love it. Couldn't live without it. Tim Holtz, guillotine. Never let you down. Okay, my friend Kelly Person gave me these tool trays, which I love them. They hold my blender brushes. I have a mixture of Gina K, Sinus Stamp, Picket Fence. I love them all. Um, these are Ulta New. They're pens, and they're so cute. And I just keep them in there, and they just make me happy. Uh, this mug I actually bought from the grocery store at Christmas time. But I just like it, and it holds the Cadillac of scissors. Okay, moving on to this little doodad, this little shelf unit, drawer unit from Ikea. I've got my embossing gun. Now this might look like a hot mess, but it's like what I call organized chaos. Because I know where everything is, but it looks like a hot mess. All my tools, retractable needle, uh, tweezers, ruler, pixie spray, Versafine, glitz glitter gel, forget about it. Um, here's what, here's like, this is a tried and true system. This is my embossing system. Little bin, cardboard bin, I think it came from Ikea. Versamark, magic powder bag. I've got clear, I've got white, boom. I also have some cream, some gold, and whatnot. Gina K tape runner, love it. Acrylic block. Um, yeah, next drawer. Distress inks. Sinus stamp inks. Stamp cleaner. The good old ink blending sponge. That's where it all started. Scoreboard, Misty's. Got a lot of different sizes of Misty's. Got the metal shim, envelope punch board, and I've been trying this little, oh my gosh, okay, it's organized chaos. Scrap drawer of cardstock. Now, normally I would like this to be organized in rainbow order, but actually this is the reality of the situation. Embellishments, again, not organized. But I know where everything is, like the Pink Fresh Studios. These things are delicious. P uh, pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequins in four different sizes. Forget about it. Now this is my photography drawer. So this is where I keep card stocks and like little props. And this, my friend Daniel Diaz sent me. This is one of these... Um, Simon Hurley stamp sponges or something like I can't wait to try it Anyhow, I'm gonna show you how because a lot of people ask. Oh, by the way, let me show you this too If I'm gonna video I keep my camera stand Tucked behind here put it up here. I've got a little attachment that can do the phone or my camcorder Like that, but I'm gonna show you how I photograph a card So if I have a card, this is just an old card I rummage through here and I find um, some pattern paper that kind of coordinates, no biggie. And then you've got your little props. I think I've been using, I need, you know what, I need to upgrade my pattern paper and my props because it's getting old, it's getting tired. But you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, so here's how I do it. Now, the one thing I love about this apartment is the light. That's probably why we moved here, is because of the light. It's phenomenal. But you got to get on the floor if you want to get a photo. I mean, I don't have a big table or whatnot, and this works. You know what I mean? It works. So I put the, oh, by the way, this is a foam roller that my family uses to roll out their muscles. But I also use it as a stand for my paper. Okay, there's your card. There's your paper. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, I have a couple of these little... Oh, wood block stamps. I put those down to hold my camera. Get my camera. Put the camera on here. And then you get down. You need to get some volleyball knee pads. but And then you go like this. Listen, I know this ain't ideal. I mean, you might get a crook in the neck. 
But you know, this is how I stay in shape. So you tip it, boom. Now that's like a, an upright photo, but if you wanna do an overhead, which is real trendy these days, I put the paper like so. This is just an old embellishment mousse. I use it to prop up the card, just to give it a little lift. Now I have some ribbon, which is about 55 years old, but that's all right. I like it. And I think it ties in nice with the black and white sentiment. That's why I do it. Flower, pen. Sometimes I switch it up. I'll put ink pads or ink blenders, what have you. Now, if you want to take an overhead, get over here. Whew, okay. I go over top. Boom. Then I go on the side. Boom. Then I go over to this side. Boom. That's how you get it. All I have is a 50 millimeter lens. That's all you need, 50 millimeter. And now I also have this little thing here because with all this light, sometimes it can be real harsh. So I have a screen inside here and I can put that down and it will screen the harsh light, but it will still allow light. And then you can also turn it this way and use it as a reflector and the light will bounce off of it and, and cut those harsh shadows. A little trick of trade. And then I just tuck it back there. And that is how the magic happens. Camera right there. And I put it away. Now I'm not gonna lie, I cleaned up today. It doesn't normally look this clean. But um, I wanted to do it special for you. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.